Well, no offence, but you're blind. <laughs> so, and then it'll say left when it means right, and you'll crash. No, I, I, I think it's important that people do whatever they can to help disabled people, right? That's yes. important. But I just can't see that working. I, I, I don't... I don't I'm not sure. Think, sure it, it's far too complicated. Why don't they just take up my idea and teach dogs to drive? Now, James, dogs... <laughs> no, cars... Drive. No, thank you, James. <laughs> Animal Hospital next week, presented by the idiot, mate. <laughs> I think it's okay. Now, this system on this uh, on this sort of buggy was was developed by students. Volvo, a byword for safety, has now developed a similar system. Okay, and they recently invited uh, all the world's press over to Sweden to have a look at a system which, you know, it basically sees the obstacle. If it thinks the driver's not concentrating, would fallen asleep, or he's blind, or he's blind, <laughs> it will break for you. So here's their test. Okay, this was just a couple of weeks ago. Now, there was a report out the other week about, uh, about dangerous roads in Britain and there were some incredible statistics in it. Half of all the crashes in Britain happen on 10% of the roads, OK? Now, one of the most dangerous roads is this one. It's the A something or other, 537 near Macclesfield. And most of the roads that are in the sort of most dangerous category are bikers' roads. Oh, here we go. Have a go at bikers' time, is it? It's been a while. Go on, then kick us. Let me give you this, right? Yes. One in four fatal serious accidents on an A road involves a bike. Well, now, there are only eight bikes on the road of Britain, and they're involved in a quarter of all crashes. Well, yeah, it's not, it's not. If, in terms of miles covered, they're more dangerous than puff adders. <laughs> if you've got one of those Suzuki black boosters... Higher booster. Whatever. See, Black Booster sounds like a sex toy. I think it probably it? is, yeah. <laughs> Higher Booster. OK, so you drive that on average about ten times a year. Yes. Statistically, you will be killed three times every time you go out. <laughs> Don't give me another statistic, right? The average age at which a biker is killed is 35. Aha! Uh -huh. What? I'm 47. <laughs> That means you've been living on borrowed time for 12 years. No, no, for no, 12 years he's been riding his bike perfectly perpendicular to the road. He does, actually, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> we, left here, we left here the other day. I, I've seen faster-moving icebergs than you. <laughs> you got behind a, we got behind a bus going up to the A3 from here, and he sat behind the bus the entire way. Oh, I'm going along. <laughs> you did. That's because, Jeremy, the bus said Guildford on the front, and that's where I wanted to go. <laughs> Can I just say, on the roads around where are anyone else live in the Cotswolds around here? You do. Have you seen those roads where it says bikers beware? What does that mean? Does that mean I'm supposed to beware of them? The point about the